Okay, so here is a little tutorial on how to use the uh, snipping tool as well as the film composer report and incorporate uh, some arrows or annotations to the images you want to capture to send to other doctors. So first, using just the snipping tool, this is really just a Windows function. Pretty much every computer is going to have it. If you search, this is Windows 10, same thing applies for Windows 7. I can just start typing snipping tool and you'll see it will auto-populate. I'll select it here. I'll select new. And I can now just drag a rectangle around the area that I want to capture. When I let go, I've got this option box. So I can actually use this little uh, pen inside the snipping tool and just draw an arrow to wherever it is I want to point to. At that point, right click on it, select copy, and now I can paste it into an email, into a Word report, into PowerPoint, any third party application. It's just an image file and you, could, uh, and you can use it for whatever you want. All right, so that's one quick way to do it. Very easy, very simple, can work on every computer. Another way is to use the arrow tool inside of the Film Composer report, the annotations, um, and uh, still use the snipping tool, but you're just capturing just a more defined arrow if that's important to you. So uh, first and foremost, I wanna capture the screenshot that I want. You can either capture it in DICOM mode or with a JPEG or a TIFF image. For this particular purpose, you'll need to use the DICOM screenshot, which is the picture of the floppy in each of the screens. So I select DICOM snapshot. It puts that image down into my gallery. You'll notice I'm currently in the oblique slicing tab. When I double click on this image, it's going to open it up into the review tab. So I double click, opens it into the review tab, and now I can actually create a little annotation or an arrow. So I'll select this tool. I'll start where I want the arrow pointing to. Left click and let go, and now I can just left click anywhere else I want. If it's just the arrow that I want, I can just cancel out of this and then do what I did before. Go back to my snipping tool, tool, and then create my image. Right click, copy, put it into whatever application you want and you're good. Last way to do it is just using the Film Composer report entirely within the CS3D imaging software. So the first thing that you want to do is capture the image that you want. And I'm going to use my DICOM screenshot again. Puts it down into my gallery. Again, double click on it. Opens up into the review tab. Select my annotation or arrow feature. If I want to point here, I'll start here and then click there. And now you can also, in addition to the arrow, if you wanted to add some comments, you can do so. I can just type whatever I want to type. Or you'll also see predefined text, which you can actually set up ahead of time. You'll notice I have two of them, lateral canal, vertical fracture. So if I select vertical fracture, and then select fill, select yes to replace the text that I just wrote. Then you can see it creates a note or that predefined text from which I created earlier. Select okay. Now that note will also be embedded into the report. So you'll also want to change the color of, uh, from yellow to something that can actually show up a, a little bit better on that text. I usually use red, that seems to show up nicely. Now I'll select my Film Composer report. That launches my report. I can now zoom in on this, right click, uh, zooming in using my mouse wheel, right click, I can maneuver my image around. You'll see that we have the arrow. You'll see the note that you created down below. I can hit this plus symbol and make this a little bit larger maybe add bold to it to make it more prominent. And now I've got my image with my reports and my note. I can create a PDF, email it to somebody, or just print it out and send it. This isn't a full tutorial on how to use all of the features of the Film Composer report 
there's definitely a lot more to learn there. Uh, this just kind of shows you some options that you have, and I hope it was helpful.